Oh, this is amazing. It felt like the whole goblet vibrating is actually the rim bending back and forth 337 times a second, the same rate as the sound waves. If I draw in the sound waves, you can see what's happening. One wave comes out of the speaker and pushes the side of the wine glass. The glass bounces back just when another sound wave pushes it again. If the timing or frequency of the sound waves is exactly right, the motion will build until the glass breaks. Wow. So, as we would expect, the speaker breaks the glass nearest to it. And immediately we see a crack that goes all the way around the whole bottom of the frame. I'm going to play that back again. This is where the initial fracture happens, right nearby the speaker. And in about three frames, and this is three ten thousandths of a second, we see this crack go along the bottom where the glass gets thicker and come right back up to the top where it's thin. If we follow that a little more, this piece has just fallen off, but it doesn't in some sense even know that it's fallen off from the rest of the glass. All of the glass was shaking at about 300 hertz, 300 vibrations per second, and this piece is still doing that. You can see the corners of the glass still flexing as if they were influenced by the speaker, but the speaker is way too far away now to have that influence on this piece. It just has the leftover inertia. And we see that in all the pieces here, even along the top edge of this glass. This piece of glass is not resonant at that frequency anymore, so it can't get energy from the speaker. And all that we see shaking is the leftover energy from what the speaker gave it in order for it to break. So, if you thought the glass could be bend, think again. Time warping changes the way we see the world, because it makes the invisible visible. Thank you.